a lot of times people think it has to be my current income only that you use. But Mm -hmm. when you get into this arena, it's kind of like investment on a residential property. Mm -hmm. If an appraiser says it'll rent for X and I can give you 75% of credit for that. Is that kind of same on the commercial if they're jumping into tenant leases or if it's a multifamily apartment? So talk just a little bit about that. It is, it is. So, you know, a lot of them used to do, you know, well, a lot of most of them all did you know, 80%, right? Okay. So LTV, you know, you only had to bring 20% to the, the table, you know, with the lending environment we're in now, you do have where, you know, you're now having to be bring 30, 35%. Okay. And, you know, and they're underrating on the property and the, you know, and the person and the individual or the group or the, you know, syndication, mm-hmm. whatever, mm-hmm. you know, whatever they are. So, they're doing all of that and they used to be able to use a you know kind of a, the global cash flow model mm-hmm. so maybe if the property was at maybe the well say the the buyer you know was really really strong but the property maybe only met the dcr of like 1.21 and it need to be 1.25 mm-hmm. if the buyer was real strong that could make up the difference. Mm-hmm. Now they're not doing that at all.